That was like the opening to Kung Fu fighting if he got punched in the nuts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> With an opening faster than a Ramon song, ladies and gentlemen, it is great night. My name is Justin Robert Young. That is Brian Brushwood. Welcome back to the show. Oh my God. All right, so please tell me we're going to do something, maybe in addition to spend an hour just calling Ice Cream Social bag of shits who are about to get shit stomped in a Mikey quiz at Scoop Fest. Do we want to do it early or late? I mean, we could get, well, you know what? We'll do it. Let's save it. We'll save it. Save the promo save for later. It. Yeah. Because, uh, those... by the way, by the way, a lot of chatter on the internet that uh, 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 oh, Ice Cream Social, we talked a lot of shit about them on the last episode. Yeah. And uh, uh, they're like, oh, Ice Cream Social, are you going to respond? Episode comes out, doesn't mention it. Oh. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, people that... are like, hey, are you ever going to respond to the fact that Great Night said that you guys were uh, a sad sack cucks that <laughs> like let this podcast come to your convention and beat your ass for the last five years in in front while the audience jerked off. That was the weird part. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of just awkwardly just watched. Uh, and they were like, and and old 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 Matt Donnelly goes, uh, "Oh, I'm in New York." Can't respond <laughs> for a couple weeks. Ah, the famously tame city of oh, the tamest place in the planet where you'd never engage yep. in some wrestling promo. Yep. <laughs> if you can visit there, you won't respond <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> I'm such a cock <laughs> in old New York. <laughs> Uh, now, some people might interpret it the fact that they no more noticed us shouting at them than I would notice an ant pheromoning in a rude way. But uh, but I don't take it that way. I, I think they're intimidated by us deeply. I mean, is it the fact that we've owned them for half a decade? I mean, if only there was some physical evidence that you could hold up and show the camera right now that would indicate that that's exactly the case. But <laughs> as if that would be created by Mizzoula and given to us at a scuba. What is that? Not given to us, earned. Oh, that's right. It was minted by Midzula. Uh, 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 really, the the nexus of the Scoop and Diamond Club universe, and and yeah, there's never been another owner than us. That's because for half a decade, all we've done is come to Las Vegas, waffle stomp. The fucking ice cream social podcast and trivia. I mean, why do you and think leave they, with this belt? You know what? I don't think I ever heard it called a waffle cone until we went to Scoop Fest. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's what we leave. That's what we leave around our foot. A waffle cone. <laughs> a waffle cone of shit. Yeah, you know that's what? That's what we leave. I, now that I'm realizing it, I may have misheard. I always thought it was a waffle cone. I think it was a waffle pone. I think. I think. I think that's, that, what it, that's where it came from. Uh, I want to be nice to them, though. Oh. I want to be nice to Ice Cream Social. Yeah? Yeah. Well, because we, uh, next week, we'll, we'll have one more episode, and then we're going to leave for uh, a Scoop Fest. And, and it's been, you know... It, it, so, Founders Day, how often does that happen? Uh, well, ev every year, yeah. I mean, every year there's not a global pandemic. Wait, no, that's no, no, our no, policy. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. It can't be every year because that's impossible. Uh, well, I it, mean, it, it's impossible to have a community event every year. Well, I mean, uh, when there's a global pandemic, you can't have one. Okay, that's true. sure, that one out, right? Yeah. But otherwise, you're telling me every year other than the pandemic year you've had it. Yeah, yeah. Impossible. What? Yeah, because it takes two years to have a scoop fest. Oh no. Oh, you're hitting below the, uh, sorry, yeah. uh, you're hitting below the, <laughs> the belt. Oh shit, maybe this should be our walk-on music. Uh, 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 uh. Give it up. 
for the people uh, who constantly uh, waffle uh, stop the waffle cones of the ICS and get the Mikey quiz right every time. 100% success ratio. Take that, Fauci. You were wrong a lot. We Why do you are- think that they can't do a scoop fest once a year? Is it because they sleep too much? <laughs> no, I mean, is it because they're little sleepy boys? Well, I is mean, it because they have their little nightcaps on and they go? You know what it is? Me, 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 me. I, I can't love the scoops every year. I have to sco- love the scoops every other year, like a deadbeat dad. Okay, hold on. I think that they're just very, very busy because they got a lot of studying to do. Oh, they do, right? You know, they have so much studying. Like uh, 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 like five years ago when we beat them, and then uh, <laughs> well, you're really you're that, really that all out of beat them, <laughs> and then two weeks from now when we beat them again, mm. yeah, you want to know what? Maybe they could have done more study. You want to know what? Scoop fest should be once every four years <laughs> because maybe then they'd be able to study enough and beat us. All right. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm sure it'll be a fair fight. I'm sure that uh, uh, they're just too busy to respond. Who do you to think's us? the dumbest? Oh, no, <laughs> rank them. Rank them in terms of smart on 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 the uh, ice cream social side. We all know who number one is. Just say it out loud. <laughs> all right, on the count of three. Yeah, eh, the dumbest one is. <sighs> you go first. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's 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 chimp. Because we all know the ice cream don't, social don't boys. Don't fucking make fun of Jacob like that. That's fucked up. It's fucked up to call him Shem. It's fucked up. All right. It's fucked up. I'm going to stick up for Jacob. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, Jacob, let's cut the shit. I'm sorry for Brian. Oh, that was out of line. Oh, it's totally that fine. That was out of line. It's totally fine. <laughs> I love it when I get called Shemp. I hope everybody at Scoop Fest just calls me Shemp. And I hope I, hope I forget that this ever happened. I hope that uh, it's a pleasant surprise and we'll all have a good nature and laugh about it. Here's my favorite <laughs> moment that's going to happen. When we beat them for the third consecutive time at their <laughs> own convention. And as I lap up the tears of those fuck boys and girls oh, God damn of it. Las Vegas, which is, by the way, the shittiest town in America. Okay, oh my God. Well, uh, <clears throat> Every time that I fly in to Harry Asshole Airport, sorry, Harry Reed International Airport, all I do is say, P U, the sweat hogs in this filth fucking box need to get a clue because your winners. Not once, not twice, but soon to be thrice will be the boys from Great Night. <laughs> and boy, will it be a buena noche <laughs> when we notch not one, not two, but three wins on these poor saps. Oh, I mean, you're so right. It's a terrible airport. Everybody hates it, including <laughs> me. It's, it's like my friend Ice-T was saying. <laughs> he came in and he said, he said, Jacob. I, I don't think this is a very good airport at all. <laughs> and I was like, you're right, T. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, 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 fake Jacob. Uh, 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 how did you first meet the ice cream social guys? <laughs> oh, well, uh, I, I was cleaning out shit from a, uh, a terrible tragedy. And I fall, found these bodies that had been stomped in the bottom of a shower. And I peeled them up and I thought, well, this looks a little bit like a waffle cone. And so uh, uh, I decided to make a podcast. And then they came alive and they've been crying ever since. Uh, are you ashamed <laughs> that you've done nothing but lose to Great Night oh. year after year after year? Oh, 100%. <laughs> hundred percent. It's it's like it's like all my friends in all of Las Vegas in every show you've ever seen keep reminding me. <laughs> it's such an embarrassment to keep losing. Uh, uh, Jacob, fake Jacob. Last question. Uh, what will you do when, for the coup de gras, the Great Night Boys fly from Austin, Texas, and reclaim? This championship belt for which they will be the only owners forever. Oh, it's going to be the best. I'm going to give you a big hug, and I'm going to take you out to an exclusive place. And guess what? 
that one steakhouse in the Orleans will be open. The Bailiwick? Yep. <laughs> I forgot it because I don't live in Vegas. I'm <laughs> fake, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Those go, the- no, 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 no. Come to me. Here we go. We're going to bring it to an end. Okay. Give, give, me, give me a full stop. <clears throat> a full stop? No, no. A full shot. Full shot. Oh, full, full shot. shot. Full okay. Shot. I here was just go. like, here we go. stop. Here we go. Please stop. Fully. <laughs> it's just that simple, folks. Come on down to Scoop Fest so you can see your boy, Brian and Justin, take home our property back from Las Vegas. It's not even really a contest, brother. When you roll in and you beat ice cream social ass. Folks, it's just that simple. We win, you lose. Repeat. See you in Vegas. You know who else will be in Vegas? The following sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, somebody put that with the New World Order music. Somebody edit that. Somebody edit that with the fucking, with, with, with the fake, like, new, 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 new World Order. Somebody has to do that. Uh, uh, holy shit. Brian. <laughs> Man, I was thinking about fucking a dog, but I'm really confused about how to feel about it. I was in Ohio. <laughs> when was the last time you were in Ohio? Never. What? I asked when the last time you were, were that oh, you oh, were in Ohio. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, I was, I, I did not hear that. And so as a result, I thought you were having an overly dramatic pause for some kind of next line. Uh, uh, last time I was in Ohio, um, and if only there was a song about going back to Ohio. Um, the, uh, 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 it, it was over a decade ago. Really? Yeah. Where was it? Um, I, it, uh, I think I think it would have been it was Columbus Airport uh, sometime in the teens. There it was for a college gig. Uh, Shit, I, wait a minute, was the last time that you were in Ohio when you met no, my wife? It was and, and literally began the chain of events that would uh, uh, bring a child into this world. I do have vivid memories of that happening, but uh, but I'm certain I've been back since then, it, but, it, but I know but, that but, she but, met it, me at it, the it, airport. It has, it has been a while since, uh, in fact, I don't know if we've ever told this story. I don't think we have. On, on the podcast, because it was before I knew you and before I knew my wife, so it's really just a story of, of, of uh, my wife booking you for a college gig. Yeah, so uh, uh, she was with the uh, Secular Student Alliance, and they were having an event, and they booked these Big camps. Atheist. <clears throat> they 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 booked me, I believe, both for the magic show and for the scam Sasquatch and the supernatural lecture. That, we, that that is definitely for sure because the m- biggest thing she talks about was the lecture. Yeah, and uh, uh, it was great. It was a great experience, and uh, uh, I, I remember. Wait, I, hold on. We fucked up. Uh, 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 when was it? Uh, last decade. No, 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 you're, you're, you're doing the actual smoke on the water. You have to do the one that we call smoke on the water, but instead is another song that goes sunshine last, your love. last year. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was a, it was a delight. And then, uh, she, and then she came out to see us perform at Dragon Con and the rest is history in the making in her belly. I don't know. I heard that that night was, was big fun. Uh, oh, it was. Uh, I remember it, it was a late... What do you remember? Because I oh, feel like I Christ. remember by legend things of this night that you might not remember. We might have played Dance Dance Revolution. I know we did at other times. Um, the uh, I remember late night foods. And I remember it was at least till past 2 a.m. Uh, do you remember a store that you visited... Oh, Late with the, the fucking, evening. oh, that's right. Chad was there. That's when we got the baseball bat-sized dildo. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot that was the same night. That was an epic fucking night. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I mean, that's, the look, uh, uh, 
unsurprisingly, I only have flashes and images here and there. So By the way, was, it's, it was, it's hard it to get out late. of fake this, Jacob this Cadence. This was late into the night. This was late into the night. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, oh, man, uh, I'm. Uh, this is back before, I think, Twitter even hosted pictures. So you had to use I, a I secondary so. service. Yeah. But I remember tweeting out a photo of Chad, like, uh, a few beers in and Chad, this is early in Chad's drinking career <laughs> when, when, you know, he's enough of a lightweight. He's just like, <laughs> he's just like, what? <laughs> and, and he's got this giant, like gasping, like double finger pointed at this baseball bat sized dildo. How, like, wait, hold on. What? <laughs> so obviously you might not know the whole story, but how do if you were to put together how do you end up from playing ddr to getting to the sex shop where you buy a gigantic dildo i mean uh, i'm pretty sure it uses the words yes a lot that's that's all i can remember although although what's interesting is as you tell me the story it's going to i i'm going to remember but it will be it will be no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. It, okay, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the yeah. only two people we would offend is my wife and Chad, and <laughs> we can talk to them. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I... I if, if they want to correct the record, Okay, so, so in, in, gen in general, after one of these events, usually there's going out to eat and, uh, and beverages, and I assume beverages happened. And, 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 and would this at this point normally be... You were still at, at the point where it's like, oh, the person that booked me... I'm gonna go out to dinner with them. Like, like yeah. that, is, oh, that yeah. is the way yeah. that it goes. That that was always when when you're on the. I mean, unless there was a very good reason you had like a, a 5 a.m. flight or something the next yeah. day. It's like that's 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 kind of baked into. It's like you know that that the people who booked you will. Uh, and and to be honest, even if even if even if they're not a fan of yours, even if you know you're just strangers you're, who you're, are meeting, you're, you're going to make them <clears throat> a fan of yours because they're the people that would book you or tell the next person who inherits their position well and plus book you plus also they're college students which means uh they're excited about a free 45 dollar meal or whatever and yeah. all i have to do is show up and they get to expense the whole thing and then you get to the venue and it's like uh you know you know it's being paid for by the university so you immediately say hey is it okay if i just pay for you know my own beer because i think that's complicated with the the reimbursements and stuff they were like oh that would be great and so you're like uh i'll have a tall brutus at this applebee's please uh and then <laughs> uh, uh and, th and then you know you have meals and then usually that's kind of when it winds down unless they're really interesting and fun in which case the party kind of keeps on rolling and i'd say maybe 10 percent of the time there would be the right atmosphere to the keep vibe, on rolling and, and you don't have an early flight right and like you're having a good time yeah and like hypothetically let's say there was like a skeptically aligned audience and i just got respected for not so much my ability to shove a nail in my face but the actual thoughts that i had about skeptical thinking and i taught a pretty good pseudoscience lecture uh i would imagine that the vibe was good I don't so, remember. So was this? Do you remember it being a crew, or was it like I, I know Ashley? I know, was, I know, was, it was, was only. Booker. I'm almost certain it was only me and Chad and Ashley. By the time we hit the baseball size dildo shop, <laughs> <laughs> baseball bat size dildo shop, I'm pretty sure the rest of of of, of the, everybody the has dispersed. <laughs> And and does DDR come before or after the food? <sighs> DDR might have been a different time, but I don't think so. I think I think it was the same night. It was the way food, I remember it. Then DDR. Yes. Then and I'm, I assume the drinks keep flowing uh, when you uh, are at the the DDR place. I don't know if there were drinks though, but I really. I remember. Oh, oh! Uh, you, I assume you're more familiar with the story than I, I was. No, no, no! I am not. I'm I'm curious again. Like, uh, here's all I know. No bullshit. All I know about this situation is Ashley met Brian booking him for a lecture. Uh, uh, her, Chad, and Brian went out afterward, and it ended at the sex shop where a comically large dildo was purchased. Would, would, would she that, be upset if we called her to get her edition of, of the order of events? We'll find out <laughs> right now. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to remind everybody, hey, guys. Oh, Oh my God! Uh, you guys got to go to Patreon.com/slash Great Night. Get your own RSS feed. Uh, we're finally, we're finally, <laughs> we're finally in a place where we're having exciting pre-shows. Today we talked all about how important it is to don't. Period. Stop. 
period. Fucking dogs. No dog fucking. That's a PSA. Are, uh, Don't air, stop but, uh, fucking we have dogs. Don't stop fucking dogs. Don't stop fucking dogs. Don't stop fucking dogs. Don't stop fucking dogs. Patreon.com. 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 Loves being associated with a PSA about not fucking dogs. Don't stop. Don't stop fucking dogs. Patreon slash. All right. We have okay. Ashley on the phone. Uh, uh, so the first time that you met Brian was where? Uh, Tam, I think. Ooh. Which, okay. which, look. I, re- I reached out to him about buying a drink because I was at the time, I think, trying to woo him to bring him to my college. Gotcha. And then you eventually did book him for uh, uh, SSA at Ohio yes. State, right? The, oh, so- the Ohio State. The, oh, now you're doing that? Yeah. The Ohio State. <laughs> uh, 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 I got and- the order mixed up. I thought it was the reverse, but I guess, I guess. That works. So what we were trying to figure out was between Brian's brain and his modesty, exactly how that night went. We all agree with the following facts. He was booked for not only a magic a performance, but a lecture, and that he ended the night with Chad at an Ohio uh, State area sex shop where a comically large dildo was purchased. But, or not purchased, uh, just taking a picture of. Like, taking like, a picture <clears throat> of. Chad flat out did not believe the size of the dildo. And uh, or, or, uh, I think for some reason, dildos were the topic of conversation. And I remember Ashley saying, let me show you something. <laughs> uh, uh, what can you fill in? Uh, it was huge. <laughs> uh, so we, had, we had gone. Yeah, like, it, 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 I, I thought we ended the night at White Castle. But maybe this is before White Castle. <laughs> Order of operations, but but you oh, know, you know what? I think I think maybe we did, and I think we just grabbed something to go. I remember it being past two a.m., and <clears throat> we were all up in the hotel room, and I'm like, "All right, I I really should go to bed." <laughs> yeah. Did you say three feet long? Yeah. It was really long. I think there's a picture of Chad holding it, maybe on my Facebook somewhere. Uh. The way you, I remember you, you it. You would probably prefer that that be erased. <laughs> yeah, I should look for that. <laughs> uh, 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 what, what else do you remember of, of the evening? <sighs> Not a lot. There was a lot of alcohol. Was was, uh, was that? <clears throat> was was it the same night? Like, I remember at some point we played <clears throat> Dance Dance Revolution and bonded over the fact that, that, that we were both obsessed with the uh, fairly obscure video game. It was it was probably the same night because I, I don't think you were in town very long. I think it was a, maybe a night that you were in. You're pretty quick in and out. Yeah, uh, it was a late night though. Uh, <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, he wasn't so much holding the giant dildo, but just pointing to it aghast. Uh, yeah. and, and but then we tweeted out the picture of him. <laughs> I know Brian, and I know Chad, and I knew Chad around then, and I know you biblically. Uh. uh I'm going to imagine that there was only one person that directed these two wayward boys to the sex shop, and I'm going to assume it was you. Uh, I mean, quite possibly. (laughs) Oh, no, quite possibly. I mean, we were, I mean, we were definitely like bar hopping in the short north. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So, so you're bar hopping, drink, drink, drink. And then all of a sudden I, I, I knew an Ashley Paramore at that point, or at least shortly after that point. And she is the kind of girl that would say, oh, my God, we need to go into the sex shop. Well, and the, uh, yes, actually, that, that does sound right. And, and the bar hopping, I think, is, is a good explanation for why everything is a blur. Because if there, if there are multiple good places to go in that district, then uh, it would track. Well, like, let's have one drink here. Now let's go to the next place and have another drink here. And then, and then suddenly, let's look at a giant fucking dildo and take a picture yeah. of a future YouTube celebrity. Suddenly, suddenly the sex shop is the only thing that's open. <laughs> uh, all right. A- a- any any final remembrances of this uh, magical moment in internet history? Uh, no, no. Just uh, I think I think we we hit the hits on it. So. Bigger or smaller than your forearm, the dildo? Uh, no. It was very long. That's all I remember. It was very, very long. 
and we're going to go longer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only mother of my child, Ashley Paramore. Hey-o! Clap, 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 clap. All right. So, uh, uh, Justin, uh, yesterday, mm-hmm. yesterday, I, yeah. uh, uh, I, I woke up early. I went to the gym. I went straight to the office because I made the mistake of asking everyone on my email list, hey, uh, do you have a question? Yeah. So I felt need to sit down and, you know, write hundreds of email responses. Then I was going to take a break. It was uh, uh, getting to be around 11, 30 in the morning, you know, yep. just the sun's coming out. It's all great. Just you know, kick open the door to that office, take a big old step and freeze because my foot is hovering above what? I'm going to go ahead and say, knowing that you are out here. In the outskirts of Austin, literally at Austin City Limits, I'm going to say it was a scorpion. Scorpion. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. A little bigger. A little, a little bigger. A little bigger. It was a three-foot dildo. <laughs> <laughs> bigger than my wife's forearm? <laughs> uh, uh, I would say a... Uh, a Little snake, <laughs> little snake, yeah. so, big snake. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, my foot's coming out, and it's about to sit down. And, and there, there's a, there's, there's something flat, scaly, like flat. And uh, and uh, I have enough time to look and realize that this is a snake that is uh, uh, flattened. And I look and I see it's brown. It's got uh, I don't know. I guess I do kind of black spots, but they're not really spots. They're sort of like shape of I don't know what's that, what's that shape over your shoulder the 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 chevron here uh, uh well yeah that the, that the, right the, there the, yeah yeah the, the, what, what would the, you call that shape diamond yeah that's what it was uh-huh. it was it was brown uh covered in black diamond patterns okay uh and i about stepped on it yeah uh, do, you, do you know of any snake snakes that have a, a diamond pattern on it I think they would be called um, Secret Surprises. <laughs> Creeping out from the brush. It's me, the Secret Surprise. Oh, my God. It's that- my <laughs> diamond head on top and my surprise in my belly. Will you find it out? Only Brian Brushwood can step upon me and squeeze it out. The secret surprise slithers upon the grounds. <laughs> That's so weird. I, I forgot that I had taken an audio recording. Hold yes. on, let me press resume. It's I'm- me, the secret surprise. <laughs> Where was I? Oops, it's a secret and a surprise. <laughs> I'm a whimsical snake that can bring death <laughs> or life. Whoa, so You'll never hold, know. Hold on. Now. Because I'm a secret surprise. Now, hold on. If you were to bring life, uh, give me an example of what that would be like. A How- 401k. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're also a a, a, a consultant when it comes no, to... No, <laughs> I'm a very, very rich snake. <laughs> You're a rich snake? Yes, I give away. I'm an altruist. I, I'm, I'm, I'm an effective altruist. I give away a lot of money, and I'm against AI. I made a lot of money in dividends. <laughs> dividends. Yes. Okay. Don't ask any more questions. <laughs> All right. Anyway, but- I will either kill you with my fangs <laughs> or I'll give you a 401k. <laughs> so- It'll set you for life. <laughs> well, I, I find myself in a, a precarious situation. It's almost as if I'm taking my money and I'm washing it. And then giving it away to others. 
<laughs> well, I find myself in the precarious situation. Everything's on the up and up. I'm a secret surprise. <laughs> yeah, but you but you are a snake. I'm the number two donor to Joe Biden's 2020 <laughs> campaign. <laughs> Who would ask questions to me? A secret <laughs> surprise. Well, so, uh, uh, secret surprise, uh, uh, snake. Uh, I've just named the Miami Heat's arena the secret <laughs> surprise. He's arena. Well, so wait, if I wanted to buy and sell, or I'll kill you. <laughs> okay, right. you don't know because well, well, I'm a secret surprise. You're all right. uh, uh, now I notice that you have diamonds all up and down your back. Yep, you're flattened, and it's as though mm -hmm. you you were resting most of your body on this walkway because it was nice and warm. Oh and yes, <laughs> I'm so chilly, <laughs> and I just would like a nice warm place to rest my belly, mostly because it's where I keep my surprise. <laughs> so you've done, sorry. Shh. Just <laughs> The surprise is the su secret. <laughs> the surprise is in your belly, though. Yes. So you're telling everybody yes. wh where the surprise... No, but what it is, fucking idiot, is the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Not hard. <laughs> okay, well, I. It's not hard. I'm a secret surprise. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> well, uh, I. Get... Surprise! <laughs> well, okay, please that's don't. That's what I all. That's my catchphrase. Okay, I thought you were surprising me. <laughs> surprise! Okay, all right. Well, uh, uh, in this. Uh, here I am with my foot kind of dangling precariously uh -huh, over I you. I remember. <laughs> Yes, and and I I think to myself, uh, oh dear, uh, yeah, my foot goes back, and I'm like, get a picture, get a picture, get a picture, get a picture. Uh huh. Uh, and and so I, I and I, I looked, I I said, don't get my bad side. <laughs> is that is that your belly where the secret no. is? No. Oh. <laughs> it's because I had just come back from the Bahamas where I lived with a harem. <laughs> And I was fucking one of my closest employees. <laughs> but but <laughs> um, and there was no like conflict of interest with, with this relationship. No. <laughs> I talked to my best friend, Michael Lewis, who was writing a <laughs> book about me. Well, I, uh, the important part is that you seem frozen. He wrote Moneyball, Brian. <laughs> yeah. If you trust him about on base percentage, you have to trust him about me. Did, the did. secret surprise. <laughs> and so, uh, how adorable I am. <laughs> yeah, you sure are. Uh, but uh, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> okay, you you didn't you didn't let him see inside your belly, did you? Of course not. <laughs> wait, 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 I told him all sorts of fantabulous facts. <laughs> that oh. I was a very smart man who had a lot of leadership <laughs> capabilities, and he should definitely feel like I was a big leader for the next generation, and certainly not just a failed son that he knew because my parents were rich in his same neighborhood. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, but 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 you. Didn't show him the secret surprise that's in your belly. No. <laughs> okay. But... I keep that a secret. <laughs> okay. So well... one day I might make it. Make make it. Make, a make... surprise. Oh, got it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, in in, in this moment, as you remember, my foot was hovered over you, uh -huh. uh, and and I, I I was trying to pull my phone out so that I could snap a picture because yeah. I knew that when I, I like the attention. <laughs> when when I knew I knew that when I described you later, uh, I would just use dumb words that wouldn't be specific, and everyone was gonna ask like, "Did you get a picture of it?" So I'm fumbling to get my phone, and then, and then and and, uh, and you did what? Well, I looked you right in the eye and said, fortune favors the bold. <laughs> uh, well. And uh, if you don't believe me, here's my friend, Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I tried, I tried to pull the phone out, uh, but, but then uh, uh, the secret surprise snake uh, just but, like who's managed to keep its fucking head and its fucking tail inside the weeds, but only its whole body flattened. In front, under, underneath my foot, and then just as I get the phone out, it just kind of just goes like I swear, Justin. Uh, I, I mean, secret snake. Yeah, you moved so slowly 
incompetently, like you gave no F words and it took you about, uh, uh, I don't know, two seconds to move about six inches into the weeds and you might as well have been fucking gone. It's almost as if I know I'll be paroled in the next year. <laughs> Doesn't matter who wins or loses in November. Guess who's getting a last minute party? <laughs> What surprise? <laughs> is it, wait, is that the surprise in your belly? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> well, so <laughs> so the uh, when I uh, uh, I missed the chance to get a photo, but I knew the the some secret surprise. Uh, you were were in the in the weeds. Uh, a scant, yes, that's that's me. A, a scant foot away, because like on the one well, hand, but I'm really always in your heart. I, that's the part that scares me the most. Uh, but I knew you were right there, and so I called. I called Bonnie, and I was like, "Hey, you'll never guess who I almost stepped on." Uh, and she said, "Sam Bakeman Freed." And I was like, "Why would you even say that?" <laughs> She's like, "I don't know." Super weird. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and, I, and she was like, "Well, it was the first name that came to mind." I was like, "Why would a person be out?" <laughs> no, I almost stepped on him. She was like, "Oh, okay." Um, but <laughs> uh, is it the bit by trying to help? <laughs> oh, wait. See, like, like, wait, why would he be in the grass <laughs> in our property in Austin, Texas? Uh, to which I would say, is it any weirder than the rest of the fucking story? <laughs> <laughs> About like, uh, like the part where he had a fucking building with with uh, modeled after his hair. <laughs> uh, anyway, so 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 this fucking. <laughs> Billion dollars, I stole. <laughs> so six. I'm uh, sorry. So secret. And my defense <laughs> in court was, I'm just a silly boy. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm, I I missed the chance to get a photo, but but I I see that it's not moving, so I call body and I and I'm, I'm like I I think there's a snake or a secret a secret surprise. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um. And then slithering around, <laughs> and then I'm able to see through the weeds just a mm -hmm. hint of one of those diamonds, yes. and I'm very afraid. And so, and then, and then I'm, I still, I'm like, I'm gonna see if I could get a photo of just at least this part. At which point, all I see is just the the weeds kind of, kind of, you know, flowing left and right as as the secret surprise. Ah, I, I was making my way out to. My parole officer. <laughs> anyway, so he's very strict. <laughs> so uh, at some point, it gets a, a good ten feet away. At which point, I am brave enough to go back inside the office, <laughs> and then later open the door and like leap and jump over the area, and then come back later with a weed whacker. And there's a lot of dead weeds. Uh, that's but uh, not me. No, whatever, whatever. I made my way out. What, yeah, whatever happened to you after after you went crazy in the weeds? Well, according to a fuckboy judge, <laughs> I needed to return to where I've been s sentenced. <laughs> but. I think there's a secret surprise for him yet. <laughs> wait, wait, can, can you give us a hint? Mm-hmm. What is it? Privilege. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, secret surprise snake. Let's make some noise. Yeah, so anyway, it was a fucking rattlesnake or... That's uh, scary. Yeah, uh, it, it, the worst part is we don't know for sure because apparently... Uh, and now, this is a weird... This is a nasty trick that nature plays... Uh, apparently, do you know that some snakes will dress up like the secret surprise snake, the rattlesnake? Really? Yeah, yeah. It's a kind of fuck with humans who want to step on them. Uh, and, and they're actually... Wait, no, no, no. They, they, they just evolve or, or they have their their pattern? Yeah, it's it's that same animal mimicry like a viceroy looks like a monarch and all that shit. Um, uh, basically, okay, one uh, creature does all the hard work of building a reputation of being poisonous... Or having a secret in its belly. Yep. And then some other ra lazy roustabout is like, 
what, I can ride that reputation? Yeah. Don't mind if I do. And then dresses up in this their This is suit. why Drake raps with a Jamaican accent? I mean, you know what? Uh, tracks. Yeah. <laughs> so far. <laughs> yeah. But the, uh, uh, in this case, the, uh, uh, it might be, I don't know, a hog snake. I'm, I'm certain. Hog snake. Said, yeah. I mean, they eat, they eat mice, so they're good. But it was, it was a long one, right? If, if it stretched over your whole, uh, well, uh, stoop. No, it was like it, it, both its head and its tail were in the weeds to my left, but its body was just like, it was very clearly just kind of like trying to get its, Trying to get his belly on, you oh, know, was, just a little warm. It was looping it. It was yeah, looping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it. just like it was just like it's, it's kind of like um, uh, when you're when you're on the couch with the dog and the dog keeps on scooting his butt over and suddenly like the cat, the dog is clearly sitting in the middle and you're just barely uh, on the couch. Do you know about Lady Dog? Uh, uh, uh look, I don't. No, fuck sorry, no, dogs. no, 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 not Lady Dog, Baby Dog. Do you know about Baby Dog? Is that, is that the Edgar Wright one? Are you prepared for the fact that one of the 100 senators that represent the United States of America is about to bring his dump truck fucking gigantic dog into work every day? Wait, on, on what grounds? I mean, besides the Capitol grounds. Uh, he's going to get elected in November. His name is Jim Justice. He is from West Virginia. That is not his Christian Bat name. Fax, no printer. Uh, oh, what is he? Of, 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 his dad was a, was an ice emperor or something. And, and all right. Here's all I know is that during the pandemic, him and his family, and he's a rotund man himself, bought a big fat fucking dump truck of a dog, and he has spent all the time since then, the next intervening four years, bringing his fat fucking dog everywhere and just. Like, it has won him universal acclaim. Literally, I dare you, Google Jim Justice Baby Dog. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Jim Justice Baby Dog. And you will see, this is a big, fat fucking dog. Oh, Christ, it's not even big. It's just fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, uh, okay. It's, it's, it's a, 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 a bulldog wearing sunglasses. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he Fucking he put just... that shit on a fucking skateboard. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And I don't know what it was, but do me a favor. Put me back on screen and mm. please Google baby dog butthole. Oh, my God. He flashed the dog's butthole on statewide television. Uh, well, if only there was evidence to. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think we found the secret surprise. <laughs> That man is going to be a senator. <laughs> and that he dog, also he also that looks dog's buttholes coming with him. <laughs> he, he also looks like he's about to give it a big old sweaty sweaty kiss. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, let me let me say, tell you how I feel about this bill. Um, nom, 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 or, nom, or nom, he's nom, about nom, to squeeze nom, his <laughs> belly, and this is his last, like the end of his catchphrase. Like, like I'm number one, but this is number two. <laughs> and he's just gonna squeeze the belly, and a fountain is shit is going to shoot on his enemies uh, a lot of people question whether or not the proposal on the house floor is worthy i bet i swear upon my dog's butthole <laughs> that this is a worthy expenditure ain't that right uh, uh, baby dog baby dog all right how old is it it's gonna die soon what was that nothing <laughs> i heard i heard somebody in the audience shout how old is it? It's going to die soon. It, it's a Dyson? Like no, it's going vacuum? to die soon. Oh. Yeah. Wait, that's... no, I don't think it's good. No, I think it's young. I, I think he just uh, adopted it. Wait, just now? In in the pandemic. That yeah. is that is what, what, what I know about I mean, the it's best, best years are already behind it? It's all downhill from here. How do you think that's going to react, though, to America? The internet would normally love that. The internet we grew up on would have been obsessed with Baby Dog. Uh, you know what? But, but I think... now I think like, like we're so polarized that we will hate this dog because it's a Republican dog. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me get... Oh, man, I just wish I could, I could zoom in. All you're doing is just... <laughs> 
<laughs> Brian, for those audio listeners, he's just trying to find a picture of the dog's butthole he can zoom in on. He is doing everything. And here we go. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Oh my God, the lady in the back. The lady in the back who's getting the biggest dick out of it. She's my hero because her whole subtext is clear. It's like her face and her grin is saying one thing. Ha ha, look at that dog's butthole. That lady's face, that lady's face right now is the closest thing that white people get to the crowd at the Apollo. <laughs> it's true. That dog goes half a butthole. <laughs> She's like, oh, God! <laughs> we need to get her on the show. <laughs> Let's get her on the show. What was your first thought when you saw that dog <laughs> dance <ball? laughs> She was there. Well, at first I was like, that's a dog. But then he showed the butthole and I was like, oh, God damn, that's a dog's butthole. <laughs> I'm in Congress. <laughs> State oh, Congress. State Congress, whatever. You know, it's like JV oh. Congress. I mean, to be honest, anybody who could, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who can flip a dog's ass off. I mean, I'm more impressed with her of just being all like, like, yo, that shit's funny. I don't I, care what y'all say. I mean, like, like, it is the picture perfect way that you would want to be represented in that moment. She has her mouth wide open, laughing as hard as she can. And pointing. And she is pointing at the dog's butthole. Like, she, you know, she understands why this is funny and it binds us to her. Oh, my God. <laughs> so so he he takes the dog in uh, uh everywhere. They they don't allow pets inside Congress though, do they? Are they gonna make an exception? I mean it depends. Does the dog have a secret surprise <laughs> in its belly? <laughs> what is it? Maybe. <laughs> it's it's called uh <laughs> he, he trains it to shit on command. He's like uh, I don't know if he's Republican or Democrat. He's Republican. Oh, okay, he's like um, whatever. He you get just make the joke. Yeah. Yeah. I think if he did have a secret surprise in his belly, he was finding the fastest way to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, you know, you know, he's giving a speech and you know, it's going to be trouble when he's got a, a, a handful of dog treats. He's like, let me tell you what I think about this anti-gun bill. <laughs> Come on over here, uh, baby dog. Whatever baby dog. <laughs> I mean, that would be the way to, to totally cheat a filibuster, right? Oh my God! Because you know that that that's a big thing that happens in the Senate is you try to stall a bill by oh. talking for like oh the best eighteen okay. hours. You just have that dog out there and to be like, baby dog, go ahead and do a spin. No, okay, good so, dog. <laughs> so here's the, here's the trick: <clears throat> is you have like two tricks that it knows, and it's like, well, when I first read this bill, I was like, uh, uh you know, had my full attention. And he does a sit command, and the dog oh sits, yeah, and it's like, <clears throat> then I began to read it. And I kind of like lost interest and the dog lays down on its side. Mm. And then you're like, uh, now when I finally had to make a decision on it, it was like this. Come on, baby dog. Come on. Turns dog, around. Dog, dog has no idea. Like oh. this is an untrained trick. Got so you're it. like, and, and then you just keep going. Hang on y'all. Hang on y'all. <clears throat> baby dog, baby dog. <laughs> oh, and you just, <laughs> you <laughs> just just <laughs> by awkwardly, literally <laughs> training the dog in real time. Yes. And, 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 the, and the court records just keep saying, hang on y'all, hang on y'all <laughs> forever and ever and ever. Meanwhile, they're like, I, 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 uh, objection, objection. <laughs> He's trying to train the dog. That is not a, uh, a filibuster. The chair recognizes the dog being trained. <laughs> Robert's uh, Rules of Order uh, says he gets a minimum 18 hours to train the dog. He, tur he turns and he's like, uh, my fellow esteemed gentleman, uh, perhaps baby dog just needs some encouragement. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. <laughs> baby dog. Everybody clap. And then half the audience claps. The other half is reading the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And then they're like, like, no, I, I, I'm sorry, Senator, you're not allowed. And Jim Justice is like, uh, 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 okay, you sure you don't want? You want a treat? <laughs> and it's like, it's you like, or actually, he's like, he's like, hold, hold that thought, hold that thought. Hold yeah, that thought. You, you know what? I just had, I, I got, I ordered this tenderloin. I don't want to have it. Uh, uh, would you, would you like this beef tenderloin? <laughs> Are, you sure? Are, you, uh, where, would, Are you sure? Would you like? Are you sure? Okay, all right. We, we got the silverware here and everything. And like, okay, okay, all right. Well then, we'll, we'll just, you just, okay, have a seat, have a seat. Okay, or, right, right, there you go. 
Mm-hmm. Turn around. Good. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, roll over. <laughs> roll over for this bill. <laughs> Gavel me in, <laughs> gavel me in. Uh, all right, and and yield your remaining time, <laughs> and yield your retain. Oh, that's a good good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> Dude, Jim Jess is gonna be president of the United States. <laughs> president, baby dog. <laughs> and we'll know. We saw his ass all first. <laughs> You know, some some Congress people say uh, some Congress people act like cowards. They're afraid to show their ass. Yeah. Guess who's not? Baby dog. My dog. Baby yeah. dog for Senate. <laughs> Baby dog for Biden's governor. Dogs just biting people. Oh wait, I didn't hear about this one. Oh yeah, they had to uh, send him away <laughs> to a big farm yeah. where he had lots of room to run. Champ had to get sent away <laughs> because he was biting too many Secret Service agents. Uh, and they didn't even get to see his asshole. Uh, Not like Baby Dog. Baby Dog gave it up on the first date. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Well, hey, man. Chance, Chance a fucking prude. Uh, uh, <laughs> baby Dog. Don't is it? fuck dog. <laughs> Don't, Don't fuck, fuck dogs. dogs. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Uh, Baby dog, is it true that your nickname used to be Lucy Goosey? <laughs> uh, 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 gavel bags. I'm sorry, baby dog. Speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> I please the Oh. Okay, uh, bailiff, give the dog a treat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is? Go- oh, I got a haircut. Finally. Okay. It doesn't look good. like it. No, it, it. I mean, you you have good look. Uh, ch- check out that back. Check out that back. It's all about that back. I just showed you my asshole. I'm like baby dog. <laughs> yeah. No, no, hair looks good. Uh, hair looks solid. Yeah, I uh, just you have luxurious of... silky hair. Has anyone ever told you that? Mm, not not in the last uh, not in the last fifty five minutes. Well, then <laughs> maybe we'll, maybe it'll happen someday. <laughs> new 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 record. <laughs> Reset the clock because you do. Uh, where 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 did you get a cut? You still doing the super cuts? Uh, well, I I I would if I knew what to tell them to do, but I just like I knew the hair was long, and I knew that we were going to Scoop Fest, and I knew that. You know, it, it was at the awkward length where, in a hat, you couldn't tuck it in, and so it would just stick out sideways. Yeah. And so I, I knew that I had to do something, and so I, uh, I went to uh, Finley's Barbershop. Uh, which which is, one? Uh, uh, I, I tried to go to the one on South Lamar, but they were all booked up, and I was like, what about over at Westlake? And they're like, yeah. And so I went over there, and uh, uh, by the way, that's that's the secret because it's a residential uh, area, and it was during yeah. school hours, so nobody nobody was around. But um, uh, I just sort of I, I texted Bonnie. I'm like, hey, uh, or I, I called Bonnie and I said, uh, hey, uh, uh, any requests on the cut? Because I don't know what I'm going to do. And she was like, uh, oh, I'm not stepping in the middle of this. And then I, there was a pause, and I said, sweetie, um, let me put it this way. I don't have to look at it. Yeah. You do. So if you want, you can just send me some pictures of things you will tolerate. And so yeah. she sent me a few. And so basically, you know, I, I don't pay attention to whatever's in fashion right now. So I was just like, hey, uh, my wife sent me these pictures. I don't know. And so uh, ended up having a lovely conversation with somebody from Seattle. And we both agreed that while the weather is great and the moss is cool, uh, everybody is, is, is a stone-hearted piece of shit who can't be bothered to do a kindness for a stranger. Yeah, the 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 uh, uh, Washington freeze is that what it's called? Uh, I believe it. I I, I remember that uh, that that it really bothered my brother Jay when he was up there a lot because he wanted to be, you know, interactive and affable. Uh, yeah. Did Did you ever see that tweet that got a lot of traction about the difference between nice and kind? Did you ever see that? No, but before we get off of Seattle, you know that they spawned a uh, uh, such a run of trailers where women would serve you coffee in bikinis, but they were also meth dealing whores. Uh, that was, that was how, how starved they were for affection. 
that the the outgrowth of a, a male affection that desperately just wanted to feel something we're like thank god at least when i go get my morning coffee i can get tooted on meth and maybe get a blow job from a woman in a trailer who's wearing a bikini uh that that and, and it was such a problem that the county had to ban them from from like these were not just one or two isolated incidents they became a genre of establishments um okay uh i i I don't know how to follow that up with a question maybe or Uh, well well well, i mean i mean mean, how how do they find i mean how does one stamp out the the secret snake of of meth kinis so at first it started innocently enough right it's a cold area gray a lot if you're gonna go get a coffee sure you could go to a starbucks you can go to a, I don't know if they have Dunkin' Donuts, but a Pete's maybe. Or uh, you can stop by one of these food truck-like drive-by establishments where, oh, a little cheeky, uh, 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 delightfully unrefined, these women are in bikinis. They're going to serve your coffee in bikinis. And so a few dudes were doing that, and everyone's like, oh, what a cheeky thing we have, aren't we, Seattle? We're like San Francisco, huh? Uh, and then, uh, apparently they found out they were also sucking dick and, uh, selling meth. Uh, uh, was it a two for one deal? <laughs> or like, was I it, don't was that, know was that what upsell? the actual price structure was. <laughs> I would assume probably, I mean, if you're there, if you're already ordering the blow job, like you might as well get some rocks. Oh. By the by the way, someone in the chat said, "Hey, with all love, Brian, your 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 haircut makes it look like you have a giant forehead." To which I say, uh, "No, I think it's my giant on? forehead that makes me look like I have a giant forehead." <laughs> it, it's a it's a <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, nice and kind. Uh, I read the tweet. It's like New York versus Seattle. Uh, uh, New York is uh, 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 not nice, but it is kind. And Seattle is nice but not kind. And the difference, the example given was if you're in New York and you keep talking about how cold it is, finally someone in New York are like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, you're cold. Here, put on this fucking sweater for Christ's sake. Not nice but kind. Whereas in Seattle, you would say, oh, man, so cold, so cold, so cold. And then you would, you would get, to, oh, man, I'm so sorry to hear about how cold it is. And then they'll never speak to you again, is, is, which I thought was a pretty good example. I would agree. But uh, but my surprise is not in my belly. Behind Where is my, it? It's behind my forehead, where all the ideas come from. Mm. <laughs> like what? Uh, like uh, uh, <laughs> like the whole bit we did about that dog's butthole. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, you is, like it, it a butthole? Is it <laughs> you like it a bottle? Oh, the butthole is a goo. He's a guy like a goo. Bottle. Oh yeah, expressing the anal glands. <laughs> Put it on the Greek food. Hey Brian. Yes. What do we learn tonight? <laughs> we, we, we learned uh uh, uh 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 don't period. Stop. Yeah. Period. period. Fucking dogs. Don't. Don't stop fucking dogs. Don't. Don't don't stop. stop fucking dogs. No, no. Don't stop. Don't. Yes. Period. Stop. No, stop fucking dogs. Period. Don't. Yeah, don't. That's that's what I say. Don't. No. On their period. Stop fucking dogs. Yeah. Don't. Wait. Well, okay. Flip Maybe. it. Transpose it, or else we're gonna get in big trouble. Well, uh, don't. Don't stop. That's thinking not the, about that's the dog's butt the hole. Song. Play the real song. Well, uh, well, what, what is the real song? <laughs> The lullaby? Oh, which one? So many. Whatever. We can play any of them. We, we've been in a real time uh, okay, here uh, we go. Okay. jumble these days. No, Brian, <laughs> this is not. <laughs> Come on. This Just one. Not... Just one. Thank Come on. you for Come listening on. to DIAF. <laughs> a production <laughs> by Diamond Club and Brian, read by Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Uh, special effects by everyone. Uh, secret prizes delivered by the secret surprise snake. That, that's actually where we got the tag from, right? 
Uh, wait, the what? The the, the our, our now infamous Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program tag. That came from this, right? Oh my gosh, I don't know if it did. I, I thought it was much later. It was like in a casual conversation about. No, I think we were doing literal audiobook credits. And then we did our version of the Audible Hopes You Have Enjoyed This Program. Uh, I, I, I think that came later because DIAF was, I thought, in 2009. And I don't think we started doing the Diamond Club thing until after Bryce had joined us. No, it was before that. I was still in Florida. Oh. Play the real song. I, I, well, then I have to go find it. Then you—that means you have to—you have to sum things up. Hey, everybody, welcome to the fill-in show. <laughs> it's a little part of the show where I've bought some time to do a little dance for you. What am I doing? I don't know. Where is Ross Perot? Six <laughs> feet under, don't you know? He died many years ago. <laughs> What did he stand for? Lower taxes, sucking sound. Well, that's a NAFTA. There is some Ross Perot facts for you today. If you give me some time, I'll fill it. If you need a hole, I'll drill it. Because I missed it on the spot. <laughs> Brian's looking for a song. Well, I'll give him one. Come on. There is a time to fill and I will be there. There, Bill. We are feeling time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, love you guys. <laughs> oh no, uh, Brian. Yep. Through. Is there something that I'd We've been looking to bring back that old New York rap. Ah, uh, boy, maybe someday. <laughs> I just have to bring my secret surprise out of this big crane. <laughs> I don't think we've ever been closer. Uh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 tell us what you learned uh, with you in full screen. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'll tell you what I learned is um, uh, perhaps I should consider readjusting this camera to a lower angle so it isn't looking down on, on, on my forehead. Uh, we learned uh, that, that certain snakes... Uh, have uh, complicated relationships with uh, powers that be <laughs> and probably won't be around for long. But most importantly, we learned that uh, coming up in Vegas, something very, very special is going to happen. Justin, what's that? Well, Brian, it's something that we learned. It's something we never forgot. What's, what, what, what is that? Ice Cream Social, some Marquez loser bitches. What? And we're coming to Vegas. What? To fucking prove it. What? We win... You lose. Repeat. Oh man. Woo! Night attack.